Are you curious about the built environment of Canada? Have you ever wondered what stories it has to tell? Are you interested in brand new research and in gaining publishing experience? This may be just the course for you. Hi, my name is Dr. Jessica Mace, and next term I'll be leading a fourth year seminar called Hidden Canada, in which we'll explore the architecture of Canada and its complex layered histories. To show you what I mean, I'm standing in front of St. Andrew by the Lake Church on the Toronto Islands, a site visited by thousands of people each year. Astonishingly, aside from this little plaque, there is nothing written about this building. There's often surprisingly little written about most buildings in Canada, and when there is, it is often told from a singular perspective. So what if, in addition to tying this formally to the Gothic revival movement in Western architecture, we also discuss that it was built on Indigenous lands, most recently under the custodianship of the Mississaugas of the Credit? What if, in addition to discussing it in religious terms, we discussed it as an act of colonization and of power and status, as the elite white population of Toronto wanted to secure a place of worship near their summer homes? We might also consider how most buildings here including hotels, stores, an amusement park, and hospitals, were demolished to make way for park space, and how this building was actually moved and repeatedly saved by protest and citizen action. By discussing and acknowledging all of these layers of history, we get a much more complete picture of the site and of our shared past. And this is just one example of thousands across Canada whose stories are waiting to be told. Join me next term to uncover the history of architecture in Canada, to problematize it together, and to envision how it could be written differently. And I don't just mean this in an abstract way. Our immersive semester-long class project will be to create and publish an interactive online magazine to share and reveal these hidden histories together. This is your chance to try original research, hone your writing skills, and to try something new. So come and see what the history of architecture in Canada has to offer you, and what you might be able to offer it.